Jamie at Tirmidhi The Chapters on Judgments from the Messenger of Allah Jamie at Tirmidhi The Chapters on Judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abdullah bin Mahab narrated that Uthman said to Ibn Umar, Go and judge between the people. So he said, Perhaps you can excuse me, from that, O commander of the believers. He said, Why do you have an aversion for that when your father judge? He said, I heard the messenger of Allah saying, Whoever was a judge and judged with justice, it still would have been better for him to have turned away from it completely. What do I want after that? Dave, Jamie at Termidi 1322 Reference 15 Hadith 1 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah, Ibn Baraida narrated from his father that the Prophet said, The judges are three. Two judges that are in the fire, and a judge that is in paradise. A man who judges without the truth, and he knows that. This one is in the fire. One who judges while not knowing, ruining the rights of the people. So he is in the fire. A judge who judges with the truth, that is the one in paradise. Daif, Jamie at Termidi 1322 Reference 15 Hadith 2 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Anas bin Malik narrated that the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Salam, said, Whoever asks for a position as a judge, then he left on his own. And whoever is forced onto it, Allah sends an angel down to him so that he can be correct. Daif, Jamie at Termidi 1323 Reference 15 Hadith 3 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Anas narrated that the Prophet said, Whoever seeks to be a judge, and asks others to intercede for him with it, then he will be left on his own. And whoever is coerced into it, Allah sends an angel down to him so that he can be correct. Daif, Jamie at Termidi 1324 Reference 15 Hadith 4 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever takes the responsibility of judge, or is appointed as judge between the people, then he has been slaughtered without a knife. Jamie at Termidi 1325 Reference 15 Hadith 5 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, When the judge passes a judgment in which he strived and was correct, then he receives two rewards. And when he judges and is mistaken, then he receives one reward. Jamie at Termidi 1326 Reference 15 Hadith 6 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Some men who were companions of Mu'ad narrated from Mu'ad that the Messenger of Allah sent Mu'ad to Yemen, so he said, How will you judge? He said, I will judge according to what is in Allah's book. He said, If it is not in Allah's book, he said, Then with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. He said, If it is not in the Sunnah of Messenger of Allah? He said, I will give in my view. He said, All praise is due to Allah, the one who made the Messenger of the Messenger of Allah suitable. Jamie at Termidi 1327 Reference 15 Hadith 7 Jamie at Termidi the chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah, another chain of narrators, from some people from the inhabitants of hymns, from Mu'ad, from the Prophet, with similar. Jamie at Termidi 1328 Reference 15 Hadith 8 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Sa'id narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Indeed, the most beloved of people to Allah on the day of judgment, and the nearest to him in the status is the just Imam. And the most hated of people to Allah and the furthest from him in status is the oppressive Imam. 
Jamie at Termedi 1329 Reference 15 Hadith 9 Jamie at Termedi The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah, Abdullah, Ibn Abi al afa narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Indeed, Allah is with the judge as long as he is not unjust. So when he is unjust, he leaves him and he is attended by shaitan. Jamie at Termedi 1330 Reference 15 Hadith 10 Jamie at Termedi The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Ali narrated. The Messenger of Allah said to me, When two men come to you seeking judgment, do not judge for the first until you have heard the statement of the other. Soon you will know how to judge. Ali said, I did not err since then. Jamie at Termedi 1331 Reference 15 Hadith 11 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abul Hassan narrated that Amr bin Mura said to Muawiyah, I heard the Messenger of Allah saying, No Imam closes his door on one in need, dire straits and poverty except that Allah closes the gates of the heavens from his dire straits, his needs, and his poverty. So Muawiyah appointed a man to look after the needs of the people. Jamie at Termedi 1332 Reference 15 Hadith 12 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah. Another chain. From Abu Maryam the companion of the Prophet, from the Prophet. Jamie at Termedi 1333 Reference 15 Hadith 13 Jamie at Termedi The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abdur Rahman bin Abi Bakra narrated. My father wrote to Ubaidullah bin Abi Bakra who was a judge. Do not pass a judgment between two people while you are angry, for indeed I heard the Messenger of Allah saying. The judge should not judge between two people while he is angry. Jamie at Termedi 1334 Reference 15 Hadith 14 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Mu'ad bin Jabal narrated. The Messenger of Allah dispatched me to Yemen. When I had left, he sent a message after me, so I returned and he said, Do you know why I sent a message to you? Do not take anything without my permission, for that will be Gulul, and whoever commits Gulul, he comes with what he took on the day of judgment. This is why I called you, so now go and do your job. Jamie at Termedi 1335 Reference 15 Hadith 15 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira narrated. The Messenger of Allah cursed the one who bribes and the one who takes a bribe for a judgment. Jamie at Termedi 1336 Reference 15 Hadith 16 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abdullah bin Amr narrated. The Messenger of Allah cursed the one who bribes and the one who takes a bribe. Jamie at Termedi 1337 Reference 15 Hadith 17 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Anas bin Malik narrated that Messenger of Allah said, If Trotter, lacking meat, were given to me I would accept it, and if I was invited to, a meal of, it I would accept. Jamie at Termedi 1338 Reference 15 Hadith 18 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Um Salama narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Indeed you come to me with your disputes, and I am only a human being. Perhaps one of you is more eloquent at presenting his argument than the other. If I judge for one of you, giving him something from the rights of his brother, then it is only a piece of the fire that I am giving him, so do not take anything from it. Jamie at Termedi 1339 Reference 15 Hadith 19 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Alkama bin Wail, bin Hujr, narrated from his father who said, A man from Hadramat and a man from Kinda came to the Prophet. 
The Hadrami said, O Messenger of Allah, this person took some land of mine. The Kindi said, It is my land, it is in my possession, and he has no right to it. So the Prophet said to the Hadrami, Do you have proof? He said, Number. He said, Then you will have the oath. He said, O Messenger of Allah, this man is a liar, it makes not difference what he takes an oath for, he is not ashamed of doing anything. He said, There is nothing you deserve from him except that. He said, So the man was left to take an oath for it, and in the meantime, the Messenger of Allah said, If he takes an oath, for your property, to wrongfully consume it, he will meet Allah while he is angry with him. Jamie at Termidi 1340 Reference 15 Hadith 20 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Amr bin Shu'ayb narrated from his father, from his grandfather, that during a khutbah, the Prophet said, The proof is due from the claimant, and the oath is due from the one the claim is made against. Jamie at Termidi 1341 Reference 15 Hadith 21 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah ibn Abbas narrated that the Messenger of Allah judged that the oath is due from the one the claim is made against. Jamie at Termidi 1342 Reference 15 Hadith 22 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira narrated the Messenger of Allah passed judgment based on an oath along with one witness. Rabia, one of the narrators, said, A son of Ibn Sa'd bin Ubadah informed me saying, We found in a book of Sa'd that the Prophet passed judgment based on an oath along with a witness. Jamie at Termidi 1343 Reference 15 Hadith 23 Jamie at Termidi the chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Habir narrated. The Prophet passed judgment based on oath along with a witness. Jamie at Termidi 1344 Reference 15 Hadith 24 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Jafar bin Muhammad peace be upon him narrated from his father. The Prophet passed judgment based on an oath along with one witness. He said, and Ali judged between you based on it. Jamie at Termidi 1345 Reference 15 Hadith 25 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah ibn Umar narrated that the Prophet said, Whoever frees a portioner, he said, a part or he said, a share he owns of a slave then he can afford the remainder of the price according to the reasonable price, then he will be free. Otherwise he has freed as much as he has freed, only. Ayyub, one of the narrators, said, perhaps Nafi said in this hadith, meaning he has freed as much of him as he has freed. Jamie at Termidi 1346 Reference 15 Hadith 26 Jamie at Termidi the chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Salim narrated from his father that the Prophet said, Whoever frees a portion of a slave he owns, then he can afford the remainder of the price, then he should free him with his wealth. Jamie at Termidi 1347 Reference 15 Hadith 27 Jamie at Termidi the chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever frees a portion or he said, a part of a slave, then he should finish paying his price if he can afford it. If he cannot afford to pay reasonable price then he should be allowed to work to earn the amount that will free him without overburdening him. Another chain, similar, and he said, a part. Jamie at Termidi 1348 Reference 15 Hadith 28 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Samura narrated that the Prophet said, The lifelong gift is permitted for its inhabitant or is an inheritance for its inhabitant. 
Jamie at Termedi 1349 Reference 15 Hadith 29 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Habir narrated that the Prophet said, Whichever man is given a lifelong gift for himself and his offspring, then it belongs to the one whom it was given, it does not return to the one who gave it, for he has given a gift which shall be included in the inheritance. Jamie at Termedi 1350 Reference 15 Hadith 30 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Habir narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, The lifelong gift is permitted for its inhabitant, and the Rukbah is permitted for its inhabitant. Jamie at Termedi 1351 Reference 15 Hadith 31 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Kathar bin Amr bin Awf al-Muzani narrated from his father, from his grandfather, that the Messenger of Allah said, Reconciliation is allowed among the Muslims, except for reconciliation that makes the lawful unlawful, or the unlawful lawful. And the Muslims will be held to their conditions, except the conditions that make the lawful unlawful, or the unlawful lawful. Jamie at Termedi 1352 Reference 15 Hadith 32 Jamie at Termedi the chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah al-Iraj narrated from Abu Huraira, saying, I heard him saying. The Messenger of Allah said, When one of you seeks his neighbor's permission to affix a wooden beam in his wall, then do not prevent him. When Abu Huraira narrated it, they tilted their heads, so he said, Why do I see that you are averse to it? By Allah, I will continue to narrate it among you. Jamie at Termedi 1353 Reference 15 Hadith 33 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, The oath is based upon what will make your companion believe you. Qutaiba, one of the narrators, said, What will make you believed by your companion? Jamie at Termedi 1354 Reference 15 Hadith 34 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Make the road seven forearm lengths. Jamie at Termedi 1355 Reference 15 Hadith 35 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, When you disagree over the road, then make it seven forearm lengths. Jamie at Termedi 1356 Reference 15 Hadith 36 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Maimuna narrated from Abu Huraira who said, the Prophet gave a boy the choice between his father and his mother. Jamie at Termedi 1357 Reference 15 Hadith 37 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Aisha narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Indeed the most wholesome of what you consume is from your earnings, and indeed your children are from your earnings. Jamie at Termedi 1358 Reference 15 Hadith 38 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Anas narrated. One of the wives of the Prophet gave the Prophet some food in a bowl. Then Aisha broke the bowl with her hand, and discarded what was in it. So the Prophet said, Food for food and vessel for vessel. Jamie at Termedi 1359 Reference 15 Hadith 39 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Anas narrated that the Messenger of Allah borrowed a bowl which broke, so he guaranteed, compensated, it for them. Jamie at Termedi 1360 Reference 15 Hadith 40 Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Nafi. That Ibn Umar said, 
I was reviewed before the Messenger of Allah in the army, and I was fourteen years old, but he did not accept me. Then I was reviewed before him in the army later while I was fifteen years old, and he accepted me. Nafi said. I narrated this hadith to Yuman bin Abdul Aziz and he said. This is the limit that distinguishes between childhood and adulthood. Then he wrote to give salaries to whoever reached fifteen years old. Another chain. From Nafi. From Ibn Umar from the Prophet and it is similar but he did not mention in it that Umar bin Abdul Aziz wrote that this is the limit that distinguishes between youth and childhood and adulthood. In his narration, Ibn Uyayna said, that Nafi said, I narrated it to Umar bin Abdul Aziz and he said, this is the limit that distinguishes between children and soldiers. Jamie at Termidi 1361 reference 15 hadith 41. Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated al -Bara. My maternal uncle Abu Burda ibn Niyar passed by me and he had a flag with him. I said, Where are you going? He said, The Messenger of Allah dispatched me to a man who married a woman his father had married to. That I should bring him his head. Jamie at Termidi 1362 reference 15 hadith 42. Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Abdullah bin Az Zubair. A man from the Ansar disputed with Az Zubair before the Messenger of Allah about the canals of Hera which they used to irrigate the date palms. The Ansari said, Let the water pass. But he refused, so they brought their dispute to the Messenger of Allah. The Messenger of Allah said to Az Zubair, O Zubair, Irrigate, your land, then let the water pass to you neighbor. The Ansari became angry and said, O Messenger of Allah, is this because he is your aunt's son? The face of the Messenger of Allah changed color. Then he said, O Zubair, irrigate, your land, and then withhold the water until it reaches the walls. As Zubair said, By Allah, I think that this ayah was revealed about that. But no, by your Lord, they can have no faith until they make you. O Muhammad peace be upon him. Judge in all disputes between them, and find in themselves no resistance against your decisions and accept, them, with full submission. Jamie at Termidi 1363 reference 15 hadith 43. Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Imran bin Hussain. A man from the Ansar freed six slaves of his upon his death, and he did not have any wealth aside from them. That was conveyed to the Prophet, and he said some harsh words about him. He said. Then he called for them and he divided them and had them draw lots. So he freed two of them and left four as slaves. Jamie at Termidi 1364 reference 15 hadith 44. Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Samura narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever owns a related maram, then he is free. Jamie at Termidi 1365 reference 15 hadith 45. Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah, another chain, from Samura that the Prophet said, Whoever owns a related maram, then he is free. Jamie at Termidi 1365 reference 15 hadith 46. Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Rafi bin Qadij, that the Prophet said, Whoever farms a people's land without their permission, then nothing he farms belongs to him and its finances are due to him. Jamie at Termidi 1366 reference 15 hadith 47. Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated in Numan bin Bashir. That his father gave a slave to a son of his. So he went to the Prophet to have him witness it. He said, Have you given a gift similar to this one to all of your sons? He replied, 
number. So he said, then take him back. Jamie at Termedi 1367 reference 15 hadith 48. Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Samura. That the Messenger of Allah said, the neighbor of a home has more right to the home. Jamie at Termedi 1368 reference 15 hadith 49. Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Habir. That the Messenger of Allah said, the neighbor has more right to his preemption. He is to be waited for even if he is absent, when their paths are the same. Jamie at Termedi 1369 reference 15 hadith 50. Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Habir bin Abdullah. That the Messenger of Allah said, When the boundaries are defined and the streets are fixed, then there is no preemption. Jamie at Termedi 1370 reference 15 hadith 51. Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Ibn Abbas. That the Messenger of Allah said, the partner is the preemptor, and preemption is in everything. Jamie at Termedi 1371 reference 15 hadith 52. Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Zayd bin Khalid al-Juni. A man asked the Messenger of Allah about lost items. So he said, make a public announcement about it for one year. Remember its string, its contained, and its sack. Then use it, and if its owner comes then give it to him. So he said to him, O Messenger of Allah, what about the stray sheep? He said, Take it, for it is either for you, your brother, or the wolf. He said, O Messenger of Allah, what about stray camel? He said, then the Prophet got angry until his cheeks became red or his face became red. He said, What concern is it of yours? It has its feet and its water reserve until it reaches its owner. Jamie at Termedi 1372 reference 15 hadith 53. Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Zayd bin Khalid al-Juni narrated that the Messenger of Allah was asked about the lost item. He said, Make a public announcement about it for one year, if it is claimed then give it to him. Otherwise remember its sack, string, and its count. Then use it, and if its owner comes, give it to him. Jamie at Termedi 1373 reference 15 hadith 54. Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Suwayd bin Ghafala said, I went out with Zayd bin Suhan and Salman bin Rabia, and found a whip. In his narration Ibn Namer, one of the narrators, said, I found a lost whip and took it. They said, Leave it. I said, I will not leave it to be eaten by predators. I will take it to make use of it. So I met up with Ubay bin Kab and asked him about that. So he narrated the hadith, he said, that is fine. I found a sack containing 100 dinar during the lifetime of the Messenger of Allah, he said. So I brought it to him. He said to me, make a public announcement about it for one year. So I announced it for a year but did not find anyone to claim it. Then I brought it to him. He said to me, make a public announcement about it for another year. So I announced it for a year but did not find anyone to claim it. Then I brought it to him. He said, make a public announcement about it for another year. And he said, remember its amount, its container and its string. If someone comes seeking it Jamie at Termedi 1374 reference 15 hadith 55. Jamie at Termedi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah and informs you of its amount and its string. Then give it to him, otherwise use it. Jamie at Termedi 1374 reference 15 hadith 55. 
Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Ismail bin Ibrahim from Ibn An, from Nafi that Ibn Umar said. Umar got some land from Kaibar and said, O Messenger of Allah! I got some wealth from Kaibar and I never ever had any wealth as plentiful as it, so what do you order me, to do with it? He said, If you wish, make it a grant and give charity from it. So Umar gave it in charity. That is not to be sold entirely, nor given away, nor inherited, to be used to produce charity for the needy, those who are near it, for freeing slaves, for the cause of Allah, the wayfarer, the guest, and that there is no harm on its custodian consuming what is customary from it, or eating from its charity, without trying to amass wealth from it. Jamie at Termidi 1375 Reference 15 Hadith 56 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, When a person dies, his deeds are cut off except for three. Continuing charity, knowledge that others benefited from, and a righteous son who supplicates for him. Jamie at Termidi 1376 Reference 15 Hadith 57 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Abu Huraira. That the Messenger of Allah said, The injuries caused by the animal are without liability, and wells are without liability, and mines are without liability, and the kumis is due on rikas. Another chain. From Abu Huraira, from the Prophet with similar meaning. Jamie at Termidi 1377 Reference 15 Hadith 58 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Sa'id bin Zayd. That the Prophet said, Whoever revives a barren land then it is for him, and there is no right for the unjust root. Jamie at Termidi 1378 Reference 15 Hadith 59 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Habir bin Abdullah. That the Prophet said, Whoever revives a barren land, then it is for him. Jamie at Termidi 1379 Reference 15 Hadith 60 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Shumair that Abayad bin Hamel visited the Messenger of Allah who asked him to set aside a reserve of salt, a mine. So he reserved it for him. As he was turning away, a man in the gathering said, Do you know what you reserved for him? You merely reserved stagnant water for him. He, Shumair, said, So he left him. He, Shumair, said, So he asked him, the Prophet, about making a private pasture of Iraq a type of tree. He said, as long as it is not harmed by the hooves of the camels. So I, at Termidi, recited that before Qutaiba and he said, yes. Another chain, with similar meaning. Jamie at Termidi 1380 reference 15 had at 61. Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Alkama bin Whale. From his father that the Prophet set aside a land reserve for him in Hadramat. One of the narrators added, and he sent Muawiyah with him to reserve it for him. Jamie at Termidi 1381 Reference 15 Hadith 62 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Anas that the Prophet said, No Muslim plants a plant or sows a crop, then a person, or a bird, or an animal eats from it, except that it will be charity for him. Jamie at Termidi 1382 Reference 15 Hadith 63 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Ibn Umar. The Prophet made a deal with the people of Kaibar for half of what was produced from it, whether fruits or crops. Jamie at Termidi 1383 Reference 15 Hadith 64 Jamie at Termidi. 
The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Rafi bin Khadij. The Messenger of Allah forbade us from a matter that was of benefit for us. When one of us had some land and we would let someone use it for a portion of its produce or some dirham. He said, When one of you has some land then let him grant it to his brother, or let him farm it. Jamie at Termidi 1384 Reference 15 Hadith 65 Jamie at Termidi. The chapters on judgments from the Messenger of Allah narrated Ibn Abbas. The Messenger of Allah did not prohibit share cropping. But he ordered that they be helpful with each other. Jamie at Termidi 1385 Reference 15 Hadith 66